Good day everybody, this is Pillar from Tales Productions and welcome back to Star Trek Online. This is a free-to-play account playing through the story of a 23rd century Starfleet officer and we are coming towards the end of the New Frontiers storyline. Um, we are on Scylla, I think it's pronounced Scylla and not Skilla or Skyla. We're going to say Scylla and Charybdis. Um, and then we've only got the Renegade's Regret to do after that. So I'm going to jump straight into this. I have obviously got a new item. Let's just, oh, not that one. We are going to have a, a quick look. I've got the new shield, but I'm not going to equip that until I've managed to run through and grind for the full set. Um, and then I think that's the only thing. Yeah, nothing else to really show. That's it. Let's get straight into this. Scylla and Charybdis. Starfleet intelligence believes a Zinkethi attack on an Alliance world could happen very soon. With their new protomatter torpedoes, billions of lives could be lost in moments once such an attack begins. We've spotted several Zenkethi fleet groups on the move in the Alpha Quadrant. I'm assigning you to patrol an area near one of those groups. If they launch a protomatter attack, I want you in position to put a stop to it. Okay, I can do that. I can take him. Ooh, a Bajor defense. Oh, nice. A Bajor set. And the Butcher's Mechleth. Oh man, that's cool. That is cool. So I wonder if Martok shows up in this mission then. It's a bit of a giveaway if he does. And some extra plasma damage. Man, they do some really good sets now. Awesome. Okay. Oh wait, what did I press? I don't think I pressed anything. It's fine. Uh, torpedo command. Okay, so it's not... Not in here? Okay. Uh, wait. Can you take me there? Okay, they can't take me there. What did it say? Go to the Alpha Quadrant and wait for hail from command. Am I not in the Alpha Quadrant now? I thought this was the Alpha Quadrant. <laughs> okay. Do I need to leave the Alpha Quadrant and come back in again? That's interesting if that is the case. Alright, I'm going to try that. Um, either way, I'll cut this out and um, get you back in once we uh, start the mission. Alright, so with the wonderful help of Thysin from Twitch chat, I, I see a little button here. Hail from command. So this is what First I must have cancelled. Have found an attack element of the Zinkethi fleet. We need to know what they're up to. As your ship is the closest, I'm sending you the intercept coordinates. The Rotaran and Core are both en route to assist you at high warp. Good luck. So the Rotaran was Martok's ship before, wasn't it? Or is that Worf's? Oh, I can't remember. Either way, yes, sir. Begin Scylla and Charybdis. You can do that from anywhere in the Alpha Quadrant. That's quite cool. The Zankethi fleet is in your sector, though their current target is uninhabited. There are many more within range that are not. Losing another planet to their coward's weapon is not acceptable. We will not arrive in time to show them the price of their dishonor. Mm. That honor is yours. Teach them well. Quay play. Awesome. I will. What's going on over here? Okay, they're just leaving. All right. I think I could have taken them, to be fair. Oh. Wait, would that travel all the way to the planet if I just left it? The threat truly will be eradicated. With or without your help. Interesting. Keep firing torpedoes until that planet is planned. <laughs> That's quite cool. So with my beams fire at will. I don't think this is going to be an issue, right? Even if they do sort of fire one off while I'm in the middle of a fight. Yeah, I'll still be able to take him out. Oh, 
Don't let it get away. Thank you. There you go. Easy enough. Ooh, improved shields take upgrade. Nice. And now I've got to chase well fought, them. But it is far from over. Zenkethi forces have been spotted near your location. Intercept them as soon as you can. We believe their target is a defenseless inhabited world. The honor of defending it belongs to you. <laughs> I trust you will not disappoint. Keep this up, and the Zenkethi will have a nickname for you as well. <laughs> awesome. Zolz is a better one than the Butcher. It's a terrible nickname. This right. is Captain Kumarke. We're on our way to assist you. They're <laughs> just warping out again. You'd think when they saw me come in, they'd think, actually, no, we should kill that guy. Put everything on him. Sort of thing. Where's... Where's my assistant then? Oh, okay. Hello. Let's get in front of them. Why do you chase us, Alliance? You hinder our great work. Alright. Yeah, so as long as I'm between those ships and the planet, that's kind of cool. Is he protecting him in some way? Alright. We'll handle hmm. the torpedoes while you stop the Zenkethi. I don't trust that. Not one bit. I'm going to help with the torpedoes. She is there to stop it, so I could just let it go. I kind of like taking them all out. Maybe there's an accolade or something for it. Easy. I probably should have taken these frigates out first. I didn't think of that. That would have been a much better way of doing it. No accolade though, that's a shame. Kern and I will arrive soon. But despite the curses real name? of our chief engineers, if warp cores were as fragile as they say, we would move through space at the speed of a legless targ. <laughs> In the meantime, the Zenkethi cowards are targeting another defenseless inhabited world. You will be that planet's sword and shield. Fight with honor. All right, let's do it. Go ahead. We'll secure things here and join you shortly. Secure things here. Sounds like a tough job. Are you gonna warp out again? Wonder what that is. Like a, a buff. All right, again, put myself between the planet and the ships. And... Who was that? Your interference is here. here! We will not be denied! Nice and easy, okay. I wasn't sure if that was another cruiser. No, okay, that's all right. But I'm going to take the frigates out first this time. Of course you will. Ooh. 
Right, it's okay. Okay, we're sorted. Nice. Oh yeah, the path of aggression, was it? Is that what their phrase was? Weird. Oh wow, the cruiser had taken loads of damage before I even got to it. Oh nice, planetary defender. I wonder if I would have got that if I'd let them go through and she'd stop them. Possibly Captain not? Captain Parr has defected to the Alliance. She's revealed the next target of the Zenkethi fleet, Bajor. Oh, nice. Intel checks out, so every available ship has been called to defend the planet. Even DS9 is being moved there to assist. The sooner what? you can get there, the better. Bajor must be defended. Well, we're on our way, Captain. So, the Tenkethi have set their sights on Bajor. Dishonorable Bakhtag. I fought and bled many times over DS9 and Bajor. I would not let them fall to the Dominion, or the Breen, or the Cardassians. And I will not let them fall to the Tenkethi. Soon we will fight, <laughs> side by side, in honorable battle. It will be glorious. Of course it will. Let's do it. The S9 moving to Bajor. Interesting. I mean, I get why it's done for Good. It like a spectacle. After all you have endured. Captain LaForge has a briefing for you. Review it and prepare for combat. Long distance scans show a large Sankethi fleet heading our way. They will test us, and we must not be found lacking. Glad you could make it. We've put together a pretty impressive force to defend the planet from the Zenkethi. Let's just hope it's enough. Our objective here is straightforward. Protect Bajor at all costs. Okay, well, that's easy enough. The time for battle is upon us. Fight well. And with honor. Kapla! Kapla! So yeah, um, having the station here is obviously like a spectacle. It's good. It's good for just a thing to see and take part in. Uh, but does it really make sense? I know, I know Deep Space Nine can move. I remember the first couple of episodes of Deep Space Nine. But uh, the whole point... Of it being there is like because that's the most strategic place for it and didn't it take a long time torpedoes. for it to move Zara as well hmm. lead the torpedoes to us keep those uncanny ships off of us if you can right this time i probably will leave the torpedoes to them but for now we can we can just take out a few right it's time the alliance pay for their interference okay i probably don't want to get too close to those battleships so we'll just take out this frigate and slowly back away. Yeah, that's fine. Take out some more torpedoes, because why not? I'm sure there won't be another accolade for this. So don't worry, I'm not expecting there to be. Ow. All that damage just from a frigate, wow. Okay, so some of the bigger ships have gone in now. I'm going to head over to this one. Focus this way. Oh, why'd you do this to me? <laughs> I'm really going quite deep here. I normally say I should stay on the edge, but it seems fine. I'm guessing another wave comes. 
far too easy if not. Alliance forces, this is Commander Sarish Minute on DS9. That assault hit us pretty hard. We might not make it through another without some critical repairs. I need some assistance in engineering. I want the station ready to face the next wave of Zenkethi when they arrive. If you have the hands to spare, we could really use them now. Okay. Yeah, definitely. Well, so that is all the space combat. Wow, that was easy. That was really easy. Ooh. What's this? I don't often see a blue drop in space like this. <laughs> well, I know I haven't really had any trouble with space combat for a while now, but that seemed extra easy. Don't know why. Probably because I just played it so slow. Yeah, it probably is that, actually. I bet it was no more or less easy than others. All right, let's do it. Can I beam down? Get close. All right, beam. Repair crews are safely aboard. Thanks for... Oh, okay. Ah. <laughs> I thought I was beaming down. There you go, this makes more sense. Why aren't they focusing on that? This looks like a really cool ship. Have I seen one of these before? That's awesome. Nice. All right. Okay, I'm, I'm heading over this side. A lot of cruisers here. And they do a decent amount of damage, I think. Okay, it's going pretty well. There's only a, oh, a two battleships, it looks like. Oh, actually, I don't know what that is, but at least one battleship. And then the, whatever it is, Dreadnought? Don't know. Do not know. Cool looking thing. Go, nice. It's a star base. Is that's like a like a DS9? Yeah. Okay. So they're about the same size. I should have picked up on that probably. That's not a ship at all. But I saw it warp in. So I guess that's kind of cool. It kind of makes sense why we have Deep Space Nine here now. <laughs> so these two could go toe to toe. Makes me feel like I'm in a bit of um, Battlestar Galactica. Just a little bit. I really want to go and kill that one remaining ship over there. Uh, so I think I will. There you go. Finally. The Challenger is kind of embedded in the Starbase. Okay, nice. Yeah, I do. I do actually remember this from the the Victory's Life thing because yeah, I've, I've played through that. So yeah, I remember seeing something very similar to this. Um, so yeah, you're right. I should have probably picked up on that from the start. I, th I remember that being a bit bigger though. But then I guess perspective-wise, <laughs> I might have been a bit thrown off by perspective. All right, let's beam over. And taking my full team, wonderful. Ah, the 
unique smells of a Tenketi vessel. It's been a while. I can't say I've missed the experience. Uh, looks like we're on the tactical deck. Their weapon controls should be down this hallway. They're on full alert here, so expect a full security presence. Right, understood. Let's go. Zenkethi ships are closing. Hmm. All right. So, oh, is it actually this exact space station? Because this is where it was, isn't it? Oh, I assumed we'd be destroying this, or it would be warping out, or something. Oh, I guess not. Maybe it just stays. That's quite interesting. Persisting something like that over storylines. That's quite cool. All ships! This is General Kern. Fire at will. Oh, he's using his real name. Okay, so they have informed him of everything then, I guess. Cool. I know he said he was going to talk to them, but... Like, shouldn't that mean now that he wants to kill himself again, though? Because that's why they wiped his memory in the first place. So now he's a this honourable guy again, right? There. Weapons control is in that room. Just ahead. In that room? Cool. I like this. It's beautiful. I think the only time I've been on a station, or this station apparently, but the only time I've been here is when it was um, a little bit more run down than this, right? This seems much more sort of bright and, and pristine. Everything's nice. Surprised to see me, Butcher. Let's finish this. <laughs> We've lost phasers. Cover us while we make repairs. Zenkethi reinforcements inbound. Moving to intercept. Oh, wow. We have an unwanted guest. Finish him off quickly. Tarsi just got wiped out. She's still alive, but... He was very low. I am going to kick you into the deepest hole I can find, butcher. <laughs> you tried to end me once before. It won't go any better this time. Clean up, fire Your thick skull will make a fine trophy. I think I, I couldn't tell like if he was cleaner. hitting me. Or Martok, but I may have just reflected like a big hit well. and did loads of damage, and now I feel like I'm some sort of pro. Zen Warren fought well, but he won't be coming back from that. He might. You've obviously never seen Star Trek before. They know we're here. Good. Secure those consoles. Good. Okay. I'm still all set up, so anything else that comes, I should be fine with. Again, that was sort of a boss fight, but fairly easy. One to go. Get to it while you can. And I'm really not overly well equipped for ground combat. I haven't got any of the sets. I should have. But I At least the they're making it the in command deck. deck. We'll have to storm their command deck, the very heart of the beast. We'll need to use one of their transporters to get there. I saw one on our way here. Let's use it and get this over with. So the overlapping voices is a bit annoying. That's happening a lot in uh, the last two episodes. I think it happened in the last one as well. Jaw did, did a little bit. And it keeps trying to make me say Kapla. But obviously we all know it's already pronounced Quayplay. Good. Alright, so we're going this way. The belly of the beast. Yeah, the overlapping voices should be a, a very simple thing, surely. Oh, hello. Nice. This is a dream for them, surely. They love these little AoEs, don't they? Sankethi used short range transporters instead of turbo lifts. Enemy combat vehicles proximity. I should get out of this fire. I didn't even realise it was fire. Me being silly. Cool. Alright. So can I can I use this? Hello. Oh, it's you. Hello. I am Captain Nespar. It was I who alerted the Alliance about the attack on Bajor, and it is I who will fight at your side now. The Admiral must be stopped. 
We now walk the same path, along with the Butcher of Zenketh Three. This is <laughs> unexpected. It is a day for unusual alliances, it seems. So where is the Admiral? Not far, though I warn you, the way there will be heavily guarded. Expect heavy resistance. Unlike myself, the soldiers here remain steadfast in their loyalty to him. All I ask is that he is given a chance to do the right thing and surrender. Far too many have already died in this madness. Okay, I'll do what I can. Let's go. I don't think he's going to surrender though, is he? The Admiral walks the path of madness. He must be stopped. Nice. That's cool. Come on, get in. Then I'll come into melee range to cast that. But that's that's fine. So much destruction. So many lives lost. It has to end now. Um. We just creep up on them. Don't tell them we're coming. Don't don't you dare aggro. Oh, come on. Nice. Then Kathy forces on attack vectors. They're relentless. There's a great animation, the run that they do when they're it looks like they're enraged. I assume that's what it is. Okay, Admiral Zen Tarak. Can I set up before you talk? Oh. I shouldn't have pressed that. It's alright, we're gonna do speaking after I've set up. Right, let's do it. Captain Parr, I see you walk the path of betrayal with one of our most hated enemies, the Butcher himself. Truly, your depravity knows no bounds. Mm. And you, the ever-present thorn between my scales, meddling in my affairs at every turn. Your reckless heroism has endangered trillions. You must be so very proud. Uh, that's your opinion. This ends now. Or oh, you could have sought our aid. No, that's your opinion. All right. Get Jesus over it. Back online. You and Zen Grovel were my best captain's men. Today I lost both of you. This crusade is unjust, and the battle is lost. It's over. Where's the other oh, is? Stand down now, or we will strike you down. Without hesitation. Surrender, Admiral, or fight if you have the spine for it. Oh, it's like seven v one. Oh dear. Hey, that's a good mechanic. That's. Obviously a very common thing in other games as well. I like that. This Nethpar fights with honor. <laughs> Today is full of surprises. Kill the fire around him. I yield! I yield! How proud you must be. You saved Bajor <laughs> and a few more worlds along with it. This will be a cold comfort to you when you lose millions more, of course. Tell your fleet to stand down. Computer, open a fleet-wide channel. All hands, this is the Admiral. An armistice has been reached. Effective immediately. Stand down. Good choice. Enjoy your victory while it lasts. And know this, the time will come when you... Feckless creatures will see the error of your ways, and I want to be there when it happens. I will relish the look of despair on your pathetic faces. In the meantime, computer, release weapons control to Alliance forces. You can use my command console as you see fit. The station is yours. Very good. I will ensure the Admiral honors the peace. 
See to it that your people honor it as well. Very well. There you go. All right. Get Alpha some security in. The command deck is locked down. This Good is job. Beta team. Commencing operation now. So, Bajor still has those things on, though. Surely we've got to deal with that at some point. Can we deal with it now? Victory belongs to us! Let's return to our ships and get the necessary reports filed quickly. The Ferengi, who runs the bar on Deep Space Nine, keeps a mm. particular vintage of blood wine in stock for me. And I... Intend to drain every last drop of his supply. Soon, we will celebrate. For tomorrow, we may die. All right, let's be out then. An optimist as always, Martok. Incoming Martok. data from planets targeted by the Zenkethi. Something is happening. Show us, Lucari. Show us the price of your meddling. Patching it through. Possible. And yet, hmm. those ships, like something of legend. They belong to the Herc. Oh, so it is them. We must return to our ships immediately. I know them. The greatest enemy to ever challenge the Empire. The Herc. So, this, this is the doom the Senkethi speak of. The enemy they'd kill billions to stop. The Herc. The Herc are our greatest foe. An enemy that invaded Kronos over a thousand years ago. No other enemy came so close to ending us, not even the Iconians. For Klingons, they are the monsters of legend. We thought they were extinct. We were fools. There is lore about the Herc using caretakers, bred to prepare worlds for the return of their masters. I believe what the Sinkethi call Dransuli, are those creatures. Oh, uh, okay. Wherever they were, the Herc were there as well. Sleeping. Waiting. To return. To attack. And now, it seems that day has come. Okay, that's quite cool. I like that. Good storyline-wise. I like it a lot. Recommendations? Recommendations? <laughs> we fight! There is no honorable alternative. All of our lore tells us that the Herc will attack without fear, without hesitation. If Bajor is to survive, we must meet the Herc in battle. Understood. All hands, battle stations. Oh wow, okay, I've got to fight now. ...has dream of battle with the Herc to test themselves as Kalis once did. DS9 is under attack. This is Captain Neth Parr, speaking for the Zenkethi forces. All ships, target the Dransuli vessels! Um... I'm not sure I really have a good a good build for this. The Dransuli are everywhere! Wake up! I don't have a lot of AoE. I know this is working out okay. East Space Nine is taking a bit of a beating, wow. We've lost shields. DS9 is taking heavy damage. Ooh. DS9 nice. has been disabled. Deep Space Nine, this is Martok. Report. 
Launch everything. We give our lives for Bajor! No, not the warp core. Eject! Do it now! Alliance forces, this is Captain Meth Pa. A large number of enemy vessels are converging on our position, and we are still defenseless from the previous battle. We need your support so we can safely evacuate. We face mm. a common foe, despite our differences. Can we count on your aid? Uh, of course, yeah, you'll have it. Do it. Comms are back, but Whatever you need. everything else is offline here. Oh, here come the bad guys. is here to help about time i mean i'm a big fan sean don't get me wrong but a bit slow the herc are coming in fast they're hard to hit yeah, they are quite hard to hit i guess but no, we don't seem to be having any trouble, it's fine. Shoot them! Shoot them! Nice. Oh, look at that flying. Okay, now they're hard to hit. <laughs> look at that. Singularity Oh dear. When they settle in behind me, it's okay. General Bartok, we will await you in Stovacor. I mean, this ship is fine anyway. But the Admiral is still on board. Return to Zenka. Be the traitor with their new allies. Hmm. Yeah, this ship seems really good to fight against the Hulk. I guess it's the five rear weapons. Just a moment. We're picking up something here. Looks like the wormhole is opening. Uh, what? Is it the Dominion? Can't get a clear reading. Our sensor arrays are pretty banged up over here. Frankly, we have bigger concerns. We're in danger of being overrun by the Hulk, and if we fall, Bajor is next. Red alert. Kalis didn't have the Dominion to deal with when he battled the Herc. This complicates matters. Mm. Cool. Feel that. Oh no, I need to get back around there. Quick. And then use this. Nice. This is good. Dominion vessels, commence attack on the Herc. And remember, victory is life. What? The Dominion is on our side? Well, I guess, did this come out just before victory is life then? Because this is a brilliant little setup. I totally missed this, obviously.
Slow down those hurt ships. They're much easier to hit that way. Oh man, so bright. Oh right, that was the space station then. <laughs> well, I guess it wasn't the exact Target same cover. one that I was Forces getting on fire. in Victory's Life. Maybe. I guess not. There you go. Easy. That's a lot of Jemadar ships then, isn't it? Forces. I am Loris Four. I bring you greetings from the Founders. While it should be quite evident that we come to you in peace, I understand that my predecessor was a source of discord during her time here. Trust is important, so please, allow me to return the Alliance personnel we recovered from the battle station before it exploded. As a gesture of good faith. Oh, thank you. And what brings you here? As always, I live to serve the Founders. I realize the concept of such a selfless existence is often challenging to those in the Alliance. But it really is my only goal in life. As to our presence here, the fleet has traveled here today to bring you a message. But it is not for me to deliver. Oh, uh, then who? We have to talk. Woohoo! I know that changeling. He's called Odo. He used oh, to run security for DS9. And now he's here, in command of a Dominion fleet. Impressive entrance. <laughs> Whatever this is about, it isn't a matter to be taken lightly. If Odo has something to say, it would be foolish not to listen. The return of both the Dominion and the Herc is no coincidence. I suspect we'll be seeing each other again very soon. Okay, well, until then, General. Thanks very much. We're not going to talk to Odo, we're just going to leave it at we need to talk. Cool. Alright, so before Victory is Life came out, I obviously never saw any of this. So now this sort of build-up makes a lot more sense. I like it. I like it a lot. Let's hand it in. What could have led the Zenkepi to attack Bajor? We what? found no signs of the crystal eggs they've targeted in previous attacks. Oh. Perhaps it was meant to distract us while they pursued their mad crusade elsewhere. Well, unfortunately, that's just the first of our problems. The return of the Herc is cause enough for concern, but the return of the Dominion? That's another matter entirely. While the presence of Odo is reassuring, I've learned the hard way not to take any overtures from the Founders lightly. <laughs> President Okeg and the Council are sending envoys to DS9 to get to the bottom of this. We've enjoyed peace with the Dominion for some time now. If that's in danger, I want to know about it. So... Yeah, I'm, I'm just reading through the, the chat and I'm starting to get a grip with what's actually going on. So timeline wise, the victory is life doesn't actually happen after this. That was the battle that when you start a new Jemadar character, you come into. That makes a lot more sense. Cool. I like that a lot. Um, Now, so I'm definitely not going to take any plasma or any of these Bajoran sets. I mean, it's cool that there is a set, but that's not good for me. So I'm going to take the melee weapon just to give Tarsi a bit of range. Yeah, why not? I want to see some new animations. There you go, that's something new. Awesome, so that was Scylla and Charybdis. That means there is a whole one more mission to do in this current playthrough. Which is just incredible. So one more mission to finish off New Frontiers. That will happen in the next episode. This one was Scylla and Charybdis. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, hope you are enjoying, and I hope you will enjoy. But by far, the most important thing is to look forward to the next episode. Star Trek Online.